Hey everybody, my name is Kendam, welcome back. For another video of NHL 21 franchise mode, we're going to continue this series, boys. Move on uh, to the playoffs right here. We had one of our best, well, a, a really good season overall, I, I would say. We finished up as the best team of the league, so President's Trophy is on our side, I guess. Uh, we had a pretty good season for Malkin in itself. Uh, our players did pretty well. Now, I'm just excited to see who we're going to be facing off against in the first round. It's going to be the Edmonton Oilers. All right. Now, here's, here's hoping that we can really go far uh, into the playoffs and stuff like that. Maybe make it to the finals or something. You always want to, that to happen, boys. Obviously, it's not that easy to make it happen. We're going to try our best. Now, who who's in this team right there? Who's with the Oilers? We obviously have McDavid and stuff. But who's uh, uh, with them that uh, we don't know of, right? So... Obviously, they've got Dreisaitl, Meg David, and Yamamoto in the first line. So, that's a really stud, uh, stud first line, boys. 93 and a 95 playing together. Uh, Cahoon, uh, Nugent Hopkins, and Pugliarvi. Pretty decent second line. Could be a little bit better. Uh, Gunter. Uh, there we go. There's a medium elite, boys. A prospect uh, from last year, I believe, right? I think it's from last year. Uh, or two years prior, yeah. yeah playing with McCann and uh, Phil Kessel. An interesting line, a Cashin, Verhigi, and Lavoie. So, yeah, it's not too big of an offensive team. I think that if McDavid and their asset will play out their best, they're going to be the most dangerous part of it. The rest, not so much. I mean, they've got a little bit of depth, but not as much as us. I think uh, we're a little bit more threatening overall. Uh, Daniel Nurse with Bouchard, Clefborn, Bear, Bear, and uh, Kempney, and Zub. So, uh, and Zub is one of those prospects, right? Yeah, I think it is. So, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't have any defense per se. And they do have a goaltender, though. They do have Varlamov. Okay, so we got to watch out. Uh, they have a goalie and they have an interesting offense. They don't have any defense per se. So, we don't need to worry about them shutting us down. We just need to uh, worry about them actually scoring on us. So, let's jump on in. First game right here. See if we can't make anything happen, boys. See if we can get lucky with the simulation. Uh, get it on our side. We got to be able to score goals, though. Uh, now, one thing that we do know is that Lafagna is a, uh, a big-time producer in terms of playoff. He's a playoff performer, so he might show up uh, for us, even though he's playing on the fourth line, I believe. Uh, Johansson, they were going the second line, producing for us, boys, giving us a goal, just like that. Now, it's pretty much uh, a really tied-up game. Right, it seems like we're a very similar teams. It looks like overall, but Panarin's gonna get a goal. There we go, another a third goal by Kasha, just like that, and uh, that's basically gonna be the game unless we miss it up. Uh, we got a good enough goaltender, right? The Shesterkin in the net is gonna do the trick. It's gonna allow us big time to win that game, no problems right here. So yeah, we're moving on to the third period. Let's go. Let's keep it moving, boys. I don't. I'm not scared of anything. There we go. Kempney scored a goal right there. I think that's uh, their fourth line probably. Third or fourth line. I I'm not scared. They, uh, as long as Dreisaitl or McDavid, they don't uh, like start producing. They, they're they bound to have one of these games. Oh, there we go. McDavid. McDavid scoring a goal for them. They're only one goal away, boys. Shut it down. Shut it down. There we go. We won 3-2, to two, boys. All right, so first game uh, has been won by us. There we go. It's a best of three, remember? So we just got to win the other game, and we're moving on to the next round. So uh, we uh, just got to keep doing our thing. It looks like Kasha is doing great. Uh, since we won our last game, and we did pretty good against them, I don't want to change anything. We had a fantastic record with this team during the regular season, so I don't see any reason why we should change anything. Uh, Dry Saddle did score a uh, goal, so uh, one shot, one goal for them. That is not good. That's never a good thing, I guess. Uh, we got unlucky right there, but we are literally dominating them, as you can see in the shot wise. Uh, we're dominating them, so we got to, I mean, we got a rebound to score goals, right? The Verlamov's not going to stop us from scoring. There we go. Ryan Strom and uh, Malkin, back to back goals right there within one minute. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. I mean, we're. We're literally dominating them in this game. So we should be able to beat them uh, uh, beat them up. If we're dominating them with the play, the team we have, we've got a good trip offensively. Oh, they've got McDavid, though. Yeah, he's doing his thing. 
All right, moving on to the third period, boys. I'm not worrying. Oh, penalty kill. Can we kill it off? We kill it off. But they, they came back up with that power play right there. It's kind of a similar game now. The Teravine is going to score a goal on, on our side. Panarin's going to score another goal for us. Good. There we go. We're getting the offense of, on, on our side, boys. Like I said, they don't have any defense. Uh, the only thing that can really destroy us is a, a, a team with a good defense. Uh, Jaron McCann's going to score a late goal right there. At least we had a... Uh, I'm just lucky that Panarin scored a goal for us there. Otherwise, we would have uh, had to go to overtime. But uh, there it is, boys. Fantastic. So we managed to uh, basically uh, screw them up big time. We do have an injury. Capo Caco is injured. Uh, I guess head coach replaced player for now. Uh, let's simulate a day. So it looks like uh, Caco is injured for the series, boys. I don't like that. Hopefully, he's going to be back uh, soon. Don't want him to miss too much right here. All right. Uh, who are we going to be facing in the second round right here? There we go. Okay. The Buffalo Sabres are, are, are the ones that we're going to be facing up against, boys. I don't remember. Who won the cup last year? I don't actually remember who won the cup last year, boys. I've got such a short time, uh, short term memory. It's unbelievable. Uh, let's take a look at the team we've got. First off, though, we do have to make a line changes because uh, obviously Kako got injured. So we got to put uh, Buznevich in there probably, right? I was doing offensive awareness, right? Yeah. So yeah, Buznevich got to play in there in the uh, third line right there. Perfect. Okay. And Lafreniere, uh, yeah, I think he's good where he is. We, uh, we're doing just fine. So let's keep it like that right there. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's take a look at the Buffalo Sabres lineup right here. Okay. So there's the lineup for them. They've got Taylor Hall. 88 overall, Jack Eichel, eight, uh, 91, and Gallagher, 85 on the first line. A really good first line. That's a really good first line. They've got Drouin, Reinhardt, and Cousins. Okay, so that's a really good second line as well. Eros, Krejci, Thompson, uh, Nemestikov, Tyranny, and Skinner. Yeah, they've got a really good team. This might be the team that beat us, boys, uh, the, that defeats us. They've got a really, they've got some strong players up front and they've got some depth as well so that's scary and they've got defense yeah they've got defense they've got Dalin, your uh, yorki harju amonic and ristolainen and they've got petrie and Polak uh, in there as well so they've got a dangerous team they've got an offense they've got the offense they've got the defense and they've got the goaltender as well they've got lukanen yeah all right so this is gonna be rough they've got everything uh that the uh, everything possible to win against us uh, there's not much we can do right here. We just gotta try and hope for the best, I guess. Uh, right here, uh, literally, these guys are might be dangerous, boys. They might be dangerous. Uh, they, they might be uh, way better off and dominate us. I don't know how it's gonna go. Hopefully, we're gonna get the better end. It would be great, but I'm not hoping for much here. They've got a real strong team. They've got everything, uh, basically, in the team. They're, they're very similar to us in terms of team-wise. We've got everything as well, but they've got better players, though. They've, be, they've got better players up front, uh, for now at least, you know. when Once Lafreniere goes, uh, grows up to a, the 90s and stuff, then we're, it's going to be another history. But as you can see right here, we do have a goal from Allison and a power play goal from Lafreniere. Uh, Lafreniere, which is his first power play goal this season uh, in the playoffs, right? His first goal overall in the playoffs. So he's starting to show off. Maybe I should move him up. I don't want to change anything since we are winning games. But see, if we lose a game or something uh, really badly, so if we get dominated during a game or something, then I might be changing the lineups. If, if I change the lineups, I might move up Lafrenia because he's a great playoff performer, like I said earlier. He's just not a regular season guy. All right, so looks like we, we won pretty convincingly right there. It's a great game uh, by Shishturkin's uh, part. He uh, saved 30 shots uh, to allow himself a shout-out uh, right there. So that's perfect, boys. And that's going to be a win. First win right there. So if we can just play defensively against these guys, we should be all right. Let's jump on into the second game, boys. We're doing uh, very well right now. We're assembling well. Everything's going on our side. So I like that. Now they're sh out shooting us a little bit, not too much. It's a really, it's a really tied up game once again. We're very similar teams, and Buffalo has got a goal for us. So 
I think in that case, what ha what's happening is you're is you got a better depth than them. And I think that's all that matters, right? You just got to have a better depth than the, uh, the, the other team overall. Now, defense does a lot, boys. You got to have a good defense and good depth. And that's what makes you win games, I guess. Uh, Ristolainen in a power play goal. But Bushnevich is going to score a goal for us in the third line, boys. You got to remember, there we go. Giordano, another goal for him in this, uh, in this round. Uh, you got to remember, Capo Kako is injured. And we're actually scoring more ever since he's got injured and stuff. So that's uh, that's an interesting one for sure. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to keep it out of the lineup if he comes back. But there we go. Taylor, Taylor also going to score a goal. But Buffalo going to third goal in this playoff. Panarin and Wayne Simmons on the fourth line. Replacement for Kako. He scored a goal for us, boys. That's going to be a pretty convincing uh, win for us once again so another uh i guess another shootout or another streak going on we haven't lost a single game yet teravinen there it is getting the game winning goal right there at three seconds left in the period uh, last period as well that's a ball breaker one i was unnecessary to do but oh well we got it anyways so there we go another swept boys two swept in a row right here we're moving on third uh, to third round right here uh, we are going to be facing up against the Calgary Flames, it looks like. They, they uh, swept the Vancouver Canucks, so uh, there we go. Yeah, Calgary Flames are, are our opponents for the third round. So already we went to the same amount of rounds as last year. So already we're doing pretty well, boys. I'm happy about that. Now let's look a look at the lineups for this team. Uh, Calgary Flames, what do they look like? They've got uh, Johnny Gaudreau, Lindholm. Matthew Kachuk, so they've got uh, a really good first line, of course. Uh, now it starts to fall apart after this a little bit. Uh, Phillips, Ala, and Nishushkin. The second line's pretty garbage. Uh, McDonald, which is a medium elite prospect, it looks like, so a big time prospect with Monaghan and Zbay. So the third line is good. Sent Ford, Kadri, and uh, Backlund. Fourth line is it's pretty decent. Anafin Spurgeon, Valamaki. Tanev, Coburn, and Anderson. So their defense is all right. It's nothing too shabby. Offensive-wise, it's kind of all over the place. But they do have a goaltender. Everybody's got a goaltender, it looks like. Yeah, everybody's got the goaltender. So I don't know. It's a, it's whatever, whatever goaltender plays the best, which in this case is always ours. Uh, I feel like it's going to win the face-off for us. All right, so I went ahead and simulated a little bit because my dog was yapping a little bit. I'm not even at 5 p.m., boys. What the hell's going on? Anyways, uh, Ryan Strom is, uh, scored a goal for us. I think he was on the first shot as well. So first shot, first goal for us. Fantastic. We get that uh, lucky shot right there, right off the bat. That's perfect. Getting a little bit of an advantage right here. Kind of a similar game as always. We're almost similar in terms of shots. Now we are getting uh, starting to get outshot at big time, yeah. We're getting out, uh, outplayed right here, it looks like. Uh, doesn't matter, as long as we keep the goal. But one goal advantage is not enough. Power play? Let's get it, man. We got to score in the power play. Managed to give a couple of shots from that. Uh, we did. I think we did all right in the power play. We just couldn't score right there. That's a dangerous one. There we go. Monahan's going to score for the Calgary Flames. That's a dangerous one. Allison, there we go, giving us a goal. I, I really hope that Capo Cago gets to come back, though. We are going to need all of the advantage we get. If those Simmons, I think, is great for the playoff, a great replacement. There we go, Eric Stahl giving us a goal in the third period. I think uh, Capo Caco really needs to be in there. Uh, Rackle, there we go, giving us a goal, boys. So it seems like once we start going off in terms of goals, we really start by scoring quite a lot. We don't, we don't just score one goal, we're going to score two or three more goals after that, which allows us to give us a good lead for Shishturkin because he can allow some goals... Like, this is the second time right now that he allowed, uh, like, a last-minute goal or something. But at least, unla unlike last year, it doesn't cost us anything. That It doesn't allow, uh, uh, it doesn't uh, make us go to the player overtime because he already has the advantage of two goals, one more goal, and stuff like that. So we're giving him chances here. Let's jump on into the second game there in the third round. Uh, let me go to the uh, times eight right there. And uh, let's see where we are right now. How much, uh, how, where is this game going to go? I'm really hoping that we can sweep these guys up as well. We got a solid team, boys. We didn't finish first in the entire league for nothing, right? 
Backlund's gonna get a gold for them. So they get they get the first goal right there. That's gonna be a little bit more dangerous. There we go. We got a ball buster goal on our side. All of sin. Last uh, minute left. That's good. That's really good. That's gonna give us a little bit of momentum. Panarin's gonna score a goal in the first line. I gotta say, uh, Panarin really did gr uh, did a good job so far. Stall another goal for him. So every playoff, like every round, seems like there's that one player who's producing a little bit better. Like it, it's his round for some reason. Uh, Lindholm's gonna score a goal for Calgary. Uh, in the second round, it was Buffalgun, right? He had three goals. And in this round already, it's like uh, it's Eric Stahl. But one thing that is uh, for sure is that Panarin always has that goal. Uh, there we go. Buffalgun, another goal. Spurgeon, though, is gonna score one. They're keeping it real tight, boys. It's a really tight one uh, right here. We just got to keep the advantage. Shosturkin, I believe in you. No ball buster goals, all right? No ball buster goals at the end of the periods right here. Let's go, my guy. Shut it down. Shut it down. There it is. So we won the game, which allows us to sweep these guys once again. Three sweeps in a row. And uh, that uh, basically means that we haven't lost a single game in the playoffs just yet. And coming up to the... Finals of the cup as well, boys. So we made it all the way to the finals. I'm excited. Who, who's the finals? Who, who's gonna be? Uh, who are gonna be facing the Chicago Blackhawks? All right, we are facing off against the Chicago Blackhawks in the finals, boys. Kind of interesting. I don't know how far they made it. Let's take a look really quick. Had they lost an actual game in the playoffs? Because so far we haven't lost a single game. So Chicago, yeah, they did lose a game against Anaheim but that's it so they lost a, a single game against Anaheim in the previous round so it's still, it seems like a, a, a to me like it's an undefeated team to, uh, like, uh, which is us versus one team uh, versus a team that only lost once in the previous um in the previous I guess 10 games or something that's crazy uh Shishturkin still there I'm looking for Kako I think Kako's out for good boys because the series are pretty uh, short, playoffs are pretty short, so it seems like Kako is going to miss out on the entire playoffs. So you're unfortunate for him. He's not going to uh, get to whiz the cup uh, up if we win it. But, uh, you know, it's part of the game, I guess. So Chicago Blackhawks, what do they have? They have the Brinkat, uh, Dylan Strom, and Patrick Kane. Good first line as usual. Uh, Duclas Suter and Nylander, kind of... It's an all right second line, I guess. Mikheyev, uh, Bergeron, and K Cabri uh, and Dak, I guess. Kirby Dak. Wood, DeBrusque, and Bjork. So they've got some really good depth. Uh, Center-wise, they've got some really good depth. They've got Bergeron playing on the third line for some reason instead of Suter uh, being on the third line. That's an interesting choice. I wonder if that's a plus five or a plus three right there. It's probably a plus three, boys. That's dangerous. That's kind of dangerous. Uh, Duncan Keefe, Ryan Ellis, Martinez, Bachfist, Baudin, and Fox. So they don't have that big of a defense. They do have marc -Andre Fleury in the net, though. It seems like he's playing like uh, his usual Fleury uh, type of, of plays. So he's a great goaltender. So they've got a really good goaltender, and they've got some offense. They don't have any defense, though. So once again it seems very similar to the first team we faced up against which was the Edmonton Oilers boys it's it seems kind of similar uh with a little bit less of a strong players although they seem like to be dominating us in the first game right here so far okay so we're bouncing back up here all right good now managed to come back up a little bit here we were struggling a uh, at the beginning there but there we go there's a goal by Buffalo Gun boys there is the goal right here there we go. No goalies gonna allow. Uh, we're not gonna allow any goalies to stop us right here. Oh, power play goal by Suter. Not good. Olsen answers back up right away, boys. Good, good, good. Power play for us. We can't score on the power play. Another power play goal for Duncan Keith this time around. We gotta watch out. We we cannot be taking penalties. Power play on our side. Can't score on the power play, but we get scored on the penalty kill. That is not good. Special uh, special units might uh actually earn us in this game uh, in this playoff boys Tara Vinen right there get a goal for us I think the special units though are gonna hurt us uh, in the long run we gotta watch out for that we gotta watch out big time we can't be taking penalties that's for sure because they took we took two penalties and they scored on both these uh, power plays so 
Gotta watch out. We won that first game. We can thank Terra Vinant for that one. Overall, I mean, we've got such a great goaltender. So he can shut it down any time of the week. And uh, we are able to at least score three goals per game. So we're good on that side. And uh, I'm good, boys. Let's do it. And uh, imagine I won the cup uh, in my Beer Pro series, right? Imagine if I win it right here in the beer franchise mode. That would be my first time in a long time winning the actual cup in video, I think. Uh, there we go. That's a power play goal for Malkin right here, right after Bachfist uh, scored one. Another goal for Malkin. Malkin showing up for us. But Duclair is going to tie it up, though. Damn. That's a really tight one. Chicago doesn't want to lose, boys. They don't want to get swept. But, hey, we got a we got an undefeated streak on the line in this uh, playoff right here, boys, this year. Uh, we're undefeated, so we're looking to, to stay undefeated. Now, we're getting beated. We're getting uh, literally outshooted big time. Outplayed, boys. 20 shots to 15. But Rackle on the first line. There it is, boys. He's scoring his goal right here. He's helping us out. The first line's really producing for us uh, big time. Let's keep it going. Like Shattenkirk. No ball buster goals. There we go. Going to the third period. Now, I am going to jump in at, what, two minutes left into the period, boys. I'm going to jump in, of course, because I do want to watch the celebration for the cup. So let, uh, let's go, boys. You got this. Shut it down. Maybe you get an extra goal for us on our side. Maybe not. Okay. Stop it right there. There we go. Three minutes left into the period. Let's jump on in and watch it, boys. Hopefully, no goals are going to happen on the other side. And ca we can actually win the cup. Do this shit, boys. Can we actually win the cup in our third year? That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? I think we can. I mean, we can do the job. We're only three minutes away in the period from getting the the Stanley Cup for uh, for the team right there. Panarin's gonna get a shot right in front. It's gonna get blocked though. I'm gonna do full four check. Uh, keep the same guys in there. Yeah, I wanna keep their first line in there. They've been festa fantastic for me the entire season right here. Let's keep it in there. Let's go boys. You got it, you gotta just shut it down real quick. Don't let him in like that. Uh, Ryan's, uh, Dylan Strom, watch out for him. There we go, good job Buffalo Gun who's been a great defender for the entire year for us uh, right now. And especially in the playoffs, he's been very clutch for us. He scored a lot of goals. So that's fantastic. Klimbert up to Buffalgun. Just shoot it, get rid of it. All right, he's going to go offside. That's fine. We're going to have to go for the second line. Um, second line right there and second pair of defensive uh, as well right there. So let's go, boys. Get it done. Johansson's line. Get it done right there. He loses the face off. That's fine, though. As long as we don't get it done, they're gonna do. They're gonna break out the goalie right there. Watch out! What a save by Shishturkin right there. Great save by Shishturkin, boys. All right, stopping them. There's three, 30 seconds left, boys. 30 seconds left. Only a minute. Good. Go, 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 go. Go, Rackle. Score one. Oh, how are you gonna miss the net? They was wide open. Empty net, my guy. You're gonna just go for a dump. Are you serious? No. Oh my God. What a save by Shishturkin. All right. Bring them up uh, right here. Bring them up. Third pair of defensive line and third line right there. I want Ryan Strom versus Suter right there. The two Strom brothers are fighting, fighting, each, uh, fighting each other right here. 10 seconds left. Buzhnevich up to Ryan Strom, boys. Up to Olofsson's going to get the extra goal. And there it is, boys. Their guaranteed goal. And it's we're going to win the Stanley Cup, boys. Unbelievable. I cannot believe this. Let's get back the first pair of uh, of line right there of defense. Oh my God, let's just get the first line in there. Just get the first line in there just for the celebration and stuff. Malkin, you get another uh, cup in your history, my guy. And uh, there it is. There's the cup. We we did it, boys. Only in my third year under GM. What am I telling you, boys? I'm a much better GM than GM Superb, man. I'm a much better D GM than him. I just pick up a team that just had, like, uh, two years ago or something like that. They had Lafreniere as their very first round pick. They go for the first round pick all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. And they win the Cup, like, in nothing. In no time whatsoever. It's a really quick rebuild. Like, it's n it wasn't even a rebuild. All I did was picking up a bunch of prospects, veterans, and stuff like that. And I did the job of what I had. I mean, it's not difficult to do, for Christ's sake. And I won the cup just like that, boys. 
I mean, I think I figured out the uh, the way to win. Figure out the way to win in this game. Finally, boys. The system where you got to look at offensive awareness. And then you look at uh, discipline. I think that does the entire trick. I think that's the entire thing that you got to look at uh, for your players. No matter how much of an overall they have, you got to look into it, right? You got to look, oh, well, how much offensive awareness do they have and everything, right? That's that's the only thing that matters here. Panarin's going to get the con smite, boys. He deserves it. He has been a consistent throughout the entire playoffs here in the season. He had a pretty good season. Uh, as well and uh, there's the cup right there boys more than happy that's the second time in a row we get to see a celebration of the cup right here as well since in my beer pro series I won it so that's fantastic man we just get to have a lot of success all across the board I love it and who else but uh, this man right here right Kachok boys to uh, I think it's Kachok right I'm not sure Who's the captain of our team? I don't even know, boys. I don't even know the, who the captain of our team. Hold on. I'm not seeing this number really quick. Who is it? Oh, it's Truba. Wait, Jacob Truba is our captain? Oh, my God. What did I, what did I do, boys? I didn't look at the, the captain scene stuff like that for the jerseys. And uh, Truba ended up being the captain for the Rangers. Good on him, I guess. He led his team to the cup. So that's, uh, that's cool on him, I guess. Giordano and then Zibanejad. Oh no, actually not Zibanejad. Teravinen. Yeah, Zibanejad, we traded for him. So Teravinen, boys. There we go. Getting the long one. The long walk with the uh, the cup right here. I'm really happy about the team we have. We had a fantastic season. Uh, this, is, uh, this has been great, boys. And uh, obviously, it doesn't uh, go better than Shishterkin. Right, he's gonna get the last one. Teravina is gonna give it to that man right there. shishturkin has been a, a great goalie the entire se every single season he's played so far for us. He's just a great goalie. I think the Rangers did a good job of letting go of Longvist. Longvist was a great goaltender for all these years, but Shishturkin seems to be the next level right there. He seems to be the next uh, great goaltender for that franchise. So I'm just happy to have it with us for sure. Let's move on, boys, to menu. All right, so now we're off to the preseason. First thing we got to look at is the draft lottery. Of course, the Ottawa Senators actually won the draft lottery. They went from first to first, so they didn't move down at all. They actually won it fair and square, so that's interesting. So Ottawa Senators are going to get the very first draft pick. Uh, Los Angeles gets the second one. Toronto, Boston, Columbus, Montreal, Arizona, San Jose, Pittsburgh, New, uh, New York Islanders, Minnesota, Colorado. Philadelphia and uh, Detroit and Carolina for the top 15 boys. We're not in the top 15, obviously, because we won the cup. Uh, really fantastic. Leader. I'm really happy that I actually managed to win the cup very early on, boys, uh, in our series right here. So if you retired players, anybody significant? It looks like there is some players. Uh, Joe Thornton with the Montreal Canadiens somehow finished up his career with them. He decided to retire this time around. So uh, what did he do in Montreal for his last year? He played two years with Montreal, actually. Interesting. He, plays, he played his two last years in Montreal. Had a pretty good, some pretty good seasons. That's about it. Really, Lucic uh, retiring. A bunch of other veterans. Defense-wise, we have Seabrook. Decided to retire as well. Strawman, Colburn, Sequeira, Green. So nothing too interesting. And goalie-wise, uh, Craig Anderson decided to retire, but that's about it. Corey Schneider retiring as well. Uh, nothing really. If we take a look at our at our actual team right here, maybe we're going to find something. Uh, New York Rangers, where we're at. Hold on. Right here. There we go. Do we have any uh, retirements on our side? No, no retirements on our side. So aside from Big Joe Thornton, uh, nobody else uh, decided to re uh, retire, boys. We do have a coach uh, that retired in our American League, it looks, it looks like. So we're going to have to take a look at that. Craig Anderson and Phil Pula both became scouts. That's about it. There's no real... There hasn't been a single uh, former player right now that became... So far that became a coach. So that's uh, kind of a shame because I would like to play. I have them as coaches, but ain't going to happen. No, so I didn't lose a coach. 
So who's my affiliates then? I thought it was the Americans, right? Seems like it's not the Americans. Maybe I, I was mistaken. I don't know, boys. All right, I, I'm ready. Let's go into the draft lottery. Don't need to waste any time here. We're just going to roll through it, boys. Roll through the off season right here. Uh, let's take a look. Where are we at? All the way at last place, of course. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to move up too much. It might not matter. Uh, we can try to move up to uh, 26th position. We can try, boys. But I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, do I have any prospects that I can trade? That's the... The one thing that's uh, a real question. We got some top sixes players. Don't want to really want to get rid of them. So I, I'll just take whatever I can get right here. I'm not going to make any trades. Uh, we got what we deserve right here. Another medium franchise player coming in right here. And this time for Ottawa Senators. Left wing sniper cold soft boys. Wow, he's going to be a stud for them. All right. There's uh, some medium franchise players all across the boards boys. Most. And uh, the top three right here. Oh, Toronto Maple Leafs messed it up big time. I top six. Oh, they made a mistake, boys. They could have picked that guy. Oh, the Toronto Maple Leafs. What a bad one they did. What about Montreal? Did they get... Uh, yeah, they do have a defensive defenseman, medium elite group player. All right, let's take a look really quick. Uh, is there an elite so far that's been taken uh, very close to us? How far is the uh, medium elite or anything? That's been to us. Oh, pretty far away. It hasn't been a medium elite ever since the Montreal pick. So uh, at the fifth pick or something. So don't think there's going to be a big time player waiting for us or anything. Doesn't seem like we got a, lo a lot of really good scouting. Uh, gems. Do we have any gems? We don't have any gems whatsoever, boys. So I'm thinking we should probably be picking, uh, be picking uh, this guy right here, Besher. Seems like a good option. Theo Fleury as well. He's got some cap uh, comparisons. Uh, three years. Now he hasn't been on cover too much. I'm guessing he's probably a medium top six or something. That's uh, that's my guess right there. That's probably my guess. So if I, uh, if I am to get a medium top six, I might as well get a guaranteed one in this guy right here. Uh, although Denisonov, he seems like a good one. But I think... Um, I don't know, boys. I don't know what to think, actually. These guys, I don't know anything about these guys. That is not good. A+. Plus, a plus League, they're doing pretty good. Bergenheim. I should probably go for one of these uh, one of these guys right here. But since we don't know anything about them, that's kind of a, that's kind of a rough run. There's two of them that are defensive uh, demons. I don't know um, if what kind of demons they are, actually. This um, be more of an offensive demon. Let let me try Karenin. We're gonna try a lock on Karenin, boys. What is he? What uh, what is Karenin right there? Can we get a lock? Medium top four seventy seven overall. All right, that's pretty good actually because uh, even though he's medium top four, he's gonna be able to play probably in the very first year with us or the second year at least. He's gonna be ready in no time for us. So yeah, that that's pretty good, boys. Let's uh. Simulate right here. Did I miss on anybody right here? I am curious if I messed up uh, messed out on anybody I, I did see a medium elite out there, but top medium top nine So I did a good thing to not pick Ursh. Bergenheim was a little bit was uh, weaker than the player I got Bomister as well All right, so aside from Scott, I could have said I was tempted to go for pressure right there No, I did great to not go for him. I could have went for Scott though low a low elite right there could have went for Scott boys, but that's the only miss I uh, I had really. So it doesn't matter too much. Now, everybody else around here is, hasn't been scouted. So we're just going to go and take some chances here. I think this guy is a guaranteed medium elite because defensive defenseman. He's been scouted pretty good. So let's pick him up, boys. Now, I know he's uh, high up. Oh, medium. Oh, medium seventh defenseman. That's a bad one. Never mind, boys. That's a really bad pick right there. I shouldn't have picked that guy up. Oh, well, you're bound to make some mistakes, I guess. Agrabeshav. Is there anybody here that could be a good one? I mean, this guy right here seems like he might be a good one. My, uh, D minus, though, uh, of league. Yeah, I don't see anybody really that big of a deal right here. So, I don't know, boys. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Uh, let's go for that goalie. You never know. We can get lucky with goalies, I guess. Fringe starter, not good. We're not getting lucky at all right now in this draft. 
That is not good whatsoever, boys. We're just lucky that I don't need actual goalies or anything. Ulm, I don't know who to go for right here, boys. I, I might as well go for this guy right here. I might as well go for this Drapper guy. There we go. He's 20 years of age, though. Yeah, bottom six. I'm getting some really bad draft, <laughs> draft picks right here. Really bad draft picks, boys. That is not good. Let's pick somebody up that's in here, actually. This guy's garbage. Minus C, uh, A plus. There we go, but minus five. Yeah, I don't know about that one. No, 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 there's nobody right now. Oh, there's a guy right there. There's a guy. That's interesting. Uh, Nichols from France. Let's just pick him up, boys. Seventh defenseman. Garbage. Again, we don't have anything. There's some low demons. There's some low elites in there. I just can't find them. Can't find these goddamn players, boys. They're hiding well. That's unbelievable. Okay, so let's try our luck on one of these two guys. I don't know who would be the best option. 20 or 18 years of age. I'm picking 18 years of age. Left wing. Bottom six. Yo, what the hell? Can you give me a good player for Christ's sake? What's what's with these guys, man? Where are all my scouts gone? I think I lost all my scouts, boys. God damn. It's a really bad draft lottery for me right now. Guess I, I'll pick Hancock because I know at least he's a, uh, he's a top nine, right? So, damn, that was a really bad draft uh, draft lottery this year. Not a good one whatsoever. My, my worst one by far. Uh, I'm going to be losing three coaches here. I got to re-sign these three coaches, boys. Actually, if I got to re-sign them, I might as well just wait on them. I could get better coaches uh, for uh, instead of them. So, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to re-sign them. Because I could get better coaches for the AHL and stuff like that. So let me fire them and wait on that. Uh, scouts, there's a bunch of scouts that need to be re-signed. I'm actually going to re-sign them. All right, so all the scouts have been uh, re-signed. At least I, I think uh, they, they will come back, no problem. Uh, fire the head coach, whatever. Yeah, we fired a bunch of head coaches. And uh, that's pretty much it. So now let's go into the contracts. That's the next part of, uh, of this uh, video that's going to be uh, happening. Centers, uh, let's take a look at everything. So we got uh, Malkin went up to a 90 overall. So he went back up, boys. That's really good. He went up from three levels right there. We have already have our four centers. So we don't have to worry about that. One, two, three, four. Four centers and the, uh, the minors as well. Don't have to worry about anything center-wise. Left wing position. Lafreniere's contract is due. So do we want to assign him? Obviously, we want to re-sign him. Uh, we're not going to lose him to a free agency, that's for sure. Uh, even though it hasn't been that good for us, uh, I'm confident that he can do make something happen. He's, he keeps growing up, right? He's an 87 overall, so he's going to have his chances eventually. Now, he wants two years. Uh, I want him for more than that. I obviously want him for four years at least. Uh, so that's the maximum I can give him at least. And he wants six mil. So I'll give him the six mil that he wants. I have no choice but to do that. So six mil, five, six point five. Get him for four years, boys. One, two, three. Okay, so we got four as left wings. We're going to be good on that part. Lemire, one, uh, two, three. And that's pretty much it. So we got to sign another guy right here. So it's either we sign uh, Gettinger or we sign uh, Nazarov. I'm going to be signing Nazarov right here, boys. He's the better option. He's a top six. So I'm signing you, buddy. There we go. Uh, right wing position. What do we have right here? Do we have all of our right wings are already signed up? We have Wayne Simmons who actually went up and uh, went up in potential. I'm uh, I'm gonna let go of Gauthier because I've already have all of the right wings right here. So I don't have any space for Gauthier in the team, boys. I'm gonna let him go. Let him play for another team. Plus, Boudin is probably, uh, Boudin, boys, is probably ready for the NHL as well. He's going to get up in there. We're going to need to make some trades. Uh, so, there we go. So, we got Boudin right there. So, let's technically uh, call it like uh, it should be. One and two right there. Uh, three, third player, why not? We're going to re-sign you, buddy. Let's get you for three years. Uh, uh, you need to get the money you want. So, that's the money you want. You're going to get that. And uh, anybody else? I think March is ready to play for us. Why not? So sign him up, boys. We're going to have uh, all of our right wings right here. Defensive side of things. Uh, let's see where we are in terms of defense right here. So 
We got one, two, three, four, five. And we got our depth defenseman, of course. Now, Buffalo Gun does not want to resign with us. So I'm not even going to worry about that. We're going to see if we can get a, a better go a defenseman. It's a shame because Buffalo Gun did really great for us uh, during the playoffs. So I'm going to go for him uh, again if I don't have any other options. So I, I am going to need a, def a defenseman for the league. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four right here, and okay. So I need I need uh, two more demons, boys. I am gonna sign Karenin, of course. That's my fifth defenseman, and I need another one. Uh, top medium toxic. So you're not gonna get resigned. I'm gonna resign Stalin instead. You're getting resigned, buddy. There we go, and uh, that's perfect. That's all we got. Uh, goalie wise, we have our two goalies like usual. And we have our other two goalies as well. Now, uh, Like is getting in there. He's almost ready. I don't know for how long I've got these guys under contract. Pretty long. Uh, Like's contract's coming up next year. So I am going to have to sign him and replace one of my uh, goaltenders and stuff. But it seems like the only thing we need, boys, is a defenseman for the actual, uh, for the main team. So uh, let's simulate really quick. Uh, we'll see if uh, everybody resigns with us. We do have Lafreniere. Everybody uh, decide to come back. I think so, at least. Hold on. Okay, still getting some contract renewals and stuff. Stewart. That's all the scouts and stuff that are signing with us. Yeah, all the scouts are signing. I think. Uh, I think so. Yes, yeah, so I think everybody, every player, uh, has signed for me right there. So let's jump on into free agency. All right. So like you can see, we got some good options. We got Monahan, of course, center wise. But I don't need any fours or anything. I already have my roster set up. What I, the only thing I need is a defenseman. And uh, I need a buffalo gun for sure. So I think buffalo gun's my only good option right now, it looks like. It might be my only option. Yep, yeah, it is. Nobody wants to go for him though. Nobody wants to go for him. That's perfect for me. That's going to allow me to get some leeway right here uh, uh, with him. So 38 years of age. Uh, he wants a one year deal. I think I'm going to go back for him, boys. He played a fantastic season. He had a fantastic playoff run for us. A pretty decent season as well, 46 points. Playoffs, you can see, 7 points in 8 games played. This guy is a playoff performer. He's great. And uh, I don't see anybody else re really that's uh, good enough to play. So I'm going to be playing Buffalgun for sure. Yeah, why not? Let's just play. Uh, let's sign Buffalgun, boys. Sign him, uh, sign him back. We're going to get him back. Uh, I want you for two years, buddies. So now I have to give you the amount of money you want, which is fine because uh, there's no other teams going for him, boys, going after him. So it's fine by me right there. Okay, and goalie-wise, is there any goalies that might be interesting? I mean, we do have some goalies. I mean, Ben Bishop and stuff. So you do have some good goalies in there and all, but really the only person I'm interested in is by far Buffalgan, the only person we uh, we needed, so... Now I'm going to take a look really at the coaching uh, staff, right? We got to upgrade our staffs and everything. So give me a second. All right, boys, I went ahead and did everything I was supposed to be doing right here. So of course, we went for Buffalo Gun, but uh, I looked at the, all the coaches that I had as an option and also all the scouts. Make sure to sign as many scouts as possible. Well as possible so i was going to accept your contract but the role you offer me is already filled oh nhl associate coach hold on okay so i, I made the wrong uh wrong move right here i made the mistake right there i guess uh i gotta have to re uh retake a look at that i guess hold on i guess i i asked for him for the wrong thing for s somehow uh let me see really quick uh that that's not possible though i didn't make a mistake did i i think it's bowie right it's that guy um let's get back for him actually Oh no, he's uh he's got a bunch of uh, of teams. Uh, okay, uh, Ryder, there we go. That uh, Ryder, that's the guy I needed. So, yeah, I want you for associate coach. Yeah, AHL associate coach. That's what I want you to. I think I made a mistake, boys. I asked them to be uh something else entirely. That might be a mistake on my part. Hold on. Okay, this time at least for uh Ryder, it's done. It's done the proper way. So he is to be signed as a AHL associate coach. Uh, let's just simulate a day. Let's see. Happy to join the team. So we got our head coach. He's he's there, boys. A minus for a head coach. Perfect for the uh, HL. We got our assistant coach. There we go. 
And uh, we got a bunch of scouts signing in. Yeah, a bunch of scouts and everything. Uh, yeah, like always, uh, everybody's signing in, boys. We're still waiting on associate coach for the AHL, and we're waiting on Buffalo Gun and stuff like that. That's all we're waiting on, boys. Uh, I'm confident that we can have them both if we have them both. Yeah, there it is. So we got our associate coach as well. All we need now is Buffalo Gun to, uh, to join back in. He did. All right, good. He just signed, boys. And uh, that's, uh, that's just like it right there. Perfect. So we got everything we needed right there. We don't even need to waste time. Um, most of the players uh, did sign. We're going to uh, simulate a couple of days uh, still just to make sure that um, just to make sure that uh, we can see everybody who signed with who basically, right? Uh, the big time prospects and stuff like that. So I think 10, year, uh, 10 days should be enough right here. Let's take a look at the science right here. So Rasmussen, Craig Smith, whatever, Corpy Salo of Dallas, Duncan Keefe going Buffalo Boys. Uh, Alex Yafalo, anybody else? Grand Loon. Uh, Bergeron's going to Montreal. All right. Pacioretty with Toronto. And Buffalo with us, of course. And all of this. The Brusque went with um, the Islanders. Ben Bishop with the Wild. Drouin with Dallas. Monahan going with uh, Nashville Predators. Shaddenkirk with. He's going back with Tampa Bay, boys. Seems like that's pretty much it for the big names. Jim Verm Riesdijk with uh, Tampa Bay as well. Yendol with uh, Vancouver. Yeah, seems like it, boys, for the, the big names and stuff. So we can go ahead and simulate all the way until the preseason. We're going to look at the roster moves then and do the, all the little line changes and, and all. All right, so we're at the preseason, boys. Let's do our due diligence here. Look at the entire team. We're going to change Truba. Although it's fun for him to be the first to always the cop and stuff like that because he was the captain. We got to change our captain. There's no way Jacob Truba of all people is the captain for our team. That makes no sense. You know, we got to change that one up. So uh, Malkinstrom, Stahl and Johansson. Uh, that's pretty much it. We don't have anybody to bring up. Panarin, he went down actually from one overall. That is not good. But uh, Lafreniere went up again. 88 now. So Panarin, Panarin uh, Lafreniere, Teravine and Olufsen. Okay, there we go. That's uh, we're good on that side. Now here comes the part. It's the right side. Uh, Kako, uh, 87 overall now. Uh, Kasha, Rakol, and Bujnevich, with uh, Sim uh, Simmons as a backup. We got rid of Gosier, remember, but we still have Boudin right here, who is ready, boys, to play for us. So Boudin's gotta play for us. He's uh, he's gotta move up. Now the problem, the the big problem with that is I got I want to keep Simmons because he's our main uh, one, so it's either I keep Simmons or I keep uh, Bujnevich. It's either one of these two, uh, I guess. So I don't know who's gonna be my main backup right here, my main depth forward. Not sure. Uh, the offensive awareness. I think uh, I'm gonna get rid rid of Simmons. Bujnevich gonna be my uh, I guess my depth forward right here. Boudin's gonna be playing. And Simmons gonna have to be the one that we trade away. We're just gonna play him in the minors, I guess. We'll just we'll just play him in the minors, boys. It is what it is. Um, defenseman, one, two, three, four, five, and six right here. Giordano, Giordano, and Hunt both went down in terms of overall. So we're dropping quite a lot in terms of defensive side right here. Uh, we gotta make do what we got, I guess. Shosturkin and Ob went down a little bit. Uh, we got all these veterans are trying to starting to fall apart a little bit there, boys. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, let's watch out for the actual lines right here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, edit, uh, no, captain in jerseys. That's the only thing I want to do really quick is Lafrenia is my assist. Panarin's my assist as well. I'm going to keep that as it is. I want Lafrenia to be my captain, actually. Lafrenia, you're going to be my new captain. There we go, my, my guy. That's a big, uh, big one for you. Capo Cackle, you're going to be my alternate as well. My second alternate. All right, there we go. So these are the captains and alternates and stuff. Uh, I'm going to make the lineups really quick. I'll show it to you guys once it's done. All right, so there's my lineup set up, boys. It's done. This is what it looks like. It's going to look like for this year. For the beginning, at least, if starts, uh, things start to fall apart, we might change a few things or two. Uh, it's going to be Panarin, uh, Panarin with Malkin and Kasha in the first line. 
second line Lafreniere is moving up from the fourth to the third or second line. So there we go. Uh, with uh, Ryan Strom and Rackle boys. So these three guys are going to be playing together. It's three uh, three playmakers playing together. So that's uh, it's kind of dangerous. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of dangerous boys. But we don't have an, uh, an option right here. That's the best option I have. Uh, Tara Vinen and the third line with uh, Stahl and Kako. Another three playmakers playing together. And this one, Olofsson for the fourth line with Johansson and Boudin. So two snipers and a playmaker. But don't look at the player type. Just uh, all I'm looking at is the offensive awareness and the discipline afterwards. And I'm making it so a certain amount of overalls and stuff. All calculated, boys. It's all calculated. So Capo Kako. For me, seems like he's not as good as Rackle or Kasha boys. He's weaker than these two. Uh, stats wise, right? Defensive wise, I need defensive players. Depth, it's a depth team that I got. A depth team is what you need to win the cup, boys, and be the best team. So uh, he's he's good. He's a great player, but he's gonna have to uh, get his career a little bit more hurt. Uh, be, just because he, he has to play on the third line. I don't have any other choice but to do that. Defensive wise, Buffalgan with Klimberg, uh, Miller with Barry, and Giordano with uh, Truba, boys. Of course, we got as our depth forward and defense, Ant, once again, and Buzhnevich this time around. And Shesterkin playing with Old B, boys. Of course, Shesterkin main, being the main starter. We also have uh, Lemur, Lizard, Ronin. We got all these players, right? Simmons is playing on the second line in the AHL and with Altenen and Eklund and stuff like that. So that's all you can see real quick. I'm interested to see what Boudin can do for us boys as his main uh, year, right? His very first year in the league. Now, I don't know what the special units uh, look like. I haven't uh, take, took a, too much of a look into it. Uh, Capo Kako is actually a right wing. I'll leave him in the right wing, I guess. What I do want to do is make sure that all my players play. So. Uh, Boudin, you are going to get some power play time with alongside of Capo Kako. Actually, I'm going to put Kako in there, boys. Make sure that uh, they all produce right here. There we go. Instead of Tara Vinen, I do want Panarin, of course. Unless he's already playing. Oh, he's already playing on the... Okay, on that side. So we're good. We can keep it like that. So I just want my three pro big-time prospects to play right here. That's all that matters to me. La Frenière. So I think instead of Rackle right here, it's going to be... Uh, it's gonna be Kako and it's gonna be, I guess, a Boudin right there, boys. It's gonna be both these guys, uh, and that should be good enough. Penalty kill, uh, stall, rackle, whatever you keep, uh, what you think is the best option here, here, my guy. I think personally, I would probably put uh, Ryan Strom right there. Uh, Eric Stahl might be a good defensive player, then again, not really. I don't even know where they're playing Eric Stahl in there as a defensive player. They should probably be playing Malkin. There we go. Probably playing Malkin in there. That would be better. And uh, offensive, uh, offensive wise now. He's a right wing. He's a left wing. So let's book a, a right wing. The best option really. What would be the best option? I think Kako can do the job. He's a playmaker. So I think he can do the job. There we go. Give him a chance right here. And Olofsson. Well, I think uh, Olofsson's doing good enough. Uh, what we are going to do, though, I, w I do want to play my players, boys. I do want to do my prospects. So, Boudin's going to be in there. And uh, Eric Stahl, it looks like. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, keep it like that. Hold on. I didn't I didn't, mean it. I didn't finish my stuff here. All right. So, I did the, the, the last remaining thing, boys. Oh, another thing I do need to worry about as well is the extras, right? Because last time, last year, we were, uh, the, the games that we were losing a lot were in uh, shootout. We were losing a lot of games in shootout. Extra attacker, I'll leave it like that. Uh, shootout though, Malkin, Lafreniere, yeah, why not? Uh, Panarin, third place, for sure. Capo Caco right here, and we're going to get uh, Baudin his chance as well, right there. That's going to be my players right here for the uh, sh shootouts. So, I think I'm ready. Let's go ahead and simulate the actual preseason right here. I'm ready. I got the the whole setup done and stuff. I'm excited to see uh, where this is gonna lead us. Of course, we are not gonna be simulating in this game. Uh, in this video, we're not gonna be simulating the season. We're gonna do the entire season in the uh, next video, boys. 
But uh, for right now, I mean, I'm just excited to see what the preseason looks like. It's going to be a good preview of what the season might uh, be uh, like, boys. So really excited. Okay, so there we go. We're going to get ready to, for the, pre, uh, the actual season. Let's take a look at what the preseason looked like, uh, pre looked like boys. Perfect. That's a good look. That's a good look. It seems like my uh, strategy is still working, boys. I got the same strategy with some better players up front and stuff. Players are growing. I think it's going to go well for us, boys. So I'll leave it for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys uh, for the next one. Keep it easy.